What's up guys? Hey, the volume or sound or whatever is gonna be terrible. Um, but I wanted to shoot a quick video because what we're doing today is we're trying to get a fence spotted over top of our um, hills. So we, uh, we live in a real hilly area and um, we're trying to run a fence up over a hill and we don't have any stakes but, but the corners. And so we're trying to get that, you see what I'm trying to, trying to pass the little creek here. So hang on, you might get a, uh, a fall video. Oh, made it, okay. Um, so we got two stakes at each corner of the property, but what we don't have is a way to spot where we can put H braces and fence posts and T posts along the middle. And we can't see from corner to corner on the fence. So we can only see um, one corner and then we have another stake about a hundred feet away. Oh, sorry. And then we have uh, a hill that rises up about 75 feet. So I'll turn you around and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so I've got my two sons out here helping me out. So when we bought the property, um, they, it was, this used to be 70 acres and it was split up. And uh, there's some original posts, this being one of them that we think. And then if you look through here, there's a little grassy area. And on the other side of that grassy area is our actual corner pin. So I found it for sure. So I'm standing down there and I'm looking through this post, which Nate's helping me with. And I'm telling Mac to go up on the hill and stand where all three points align because if all three points align, then we have a straight line. And now we can come up over this hill and then back down the other side to be able to get the, another thousand feet to the other corner. So let's walk up here. Nate, you wanna walk up here too? This is how we're, we're doing it. I don't know, there's, I know there's different ways to do this. Um, but this is just the way my mind thinks. And this is the way, you know, what I was really hoping to do is to, for someone to stand on this stake and then have a huge post, or I mean like a grade stake, you know, level, plum I mean, and then maybe be able to see the top of that on the other corner and then just be able to walk that line and drop our flags in. But the problem with that is this is such a steep hill I mean, I'm already 10 foot up from there. And we got another six, seven feet to go here. So we don't have a, a tall enough grade stake to reach all the way down to our corner down here, which is, what's up, Nate? What's up, Mac? So we're way down there. Is where we're trying to get to so we're gonna run fence all the way through up over this hill and back down to that corner we can't go through because there's a big creek or river or something back in there so we can't we can't go all the way to our corner it's kind of a dead area back there but there was no way for us to see this mark from that corner to that corner so now that we're aligned from here and here, and that's little flag right here, what we can do now is drive a stake right here. And now we can see from there to here. So now we can get our straight line going all the way up 
to our corner, which is right there. So that's what we're doing today. And I'll keep filming as we can do this, but I need to wear like a headset or something, right? So I can. Uh, you forgot the mic. Yeah, and the microphone. I'm sure the sound's been terrible crunching through the leaves. Yeah, like. So, all right, stay with us. Okay, so we're still trying to figure this out. So I've got my two kids here. The one, we only got one walkie-talkie, so I can only talk to one of them at a time. And Mac is way up on the hill trying to get to the gate, and he couldn't find the stake. And Nate's going to plant a flag down the valley. <clears throat> but I want to show you this. It was pretty neat. I turned around, and I was looking at this flag. I'm like, well, it looks, it looks like it's pretty pretty dead on and I look down oh <laughs> that's a pink ribbon that's actually from they'll put a stake like when they survey the land they normally will drive a stake and then put a pink ribbon where we're at so <clears throat> I am I am within probably maybe five inches of the actual ribbon now i don't know if this ribbon is hooked to anything no it's just laying there but it's awfully close so i think i'm dead on you know i think i'm within there was probably a stake here that got mowed over so there was probably a stake right here got mowed over and then just i don't know where the stake's at but that's the ribbon that the stake would have been on so Anyway, I thought that was interesting. We're doing good so far, I think. So we got Nate down in the valley. And then we got Mac right there at the gate. You can see him barely in the red pants. And he's getting ready to tell me he's there. And we'll talk to him. Okay, buddy, if you look at that gate, if you walk forward, you're gonna see a T-post on the left side of that gate and it's painted pink. He's getting closer. I don't see it. He doesn't. Well, it might have gotten washed off. It might not have pink on it anymore. But it, it's about six inches away from a wood post. Yep, this one's the right one. All right, good deal. So when you stand next to it it puts you behind a tree can you wave yeah. oh, he is directly behind that tree can you move your pant legs so i can maybe see the red pants okay there he is you can see him <laughs> So there's actually two little trees right there, and the one on the left is the one he's standing behind. So we can actually spot that tree. And I'm gonna motion to Nate playing. <laughs> What's he doing? I'm gonna motion to Nate uh, where to stand. <laughs> he's probably playing Fortnite in his head right now. So, all right, here we go. I'm gonna have to stop the video though all right so what we've got here is our first flag and then we've planted this flag way out there and then we've planted another flag right there in front of mac and so all three of these are in perfect alignment so then now what we can do is get more flags and go from that corner post down to this flag See what I'm pointing out here. Cameraman is bad. All right. Uh, from this corner all the way down to this first flag. Man, you want us to keep going in and out. Anyway, and um, then we'll be able to get a couple flags up there. Once that's done, we've got our, our line done. We can drop some T post in where these flags are, and then we can actually pull strings from T-post to T-post to actually run our fence line. So that's how I do it or have done it and am doing it. Uh, I'd love to hear y'all's advice if you've done it other ways or seen it done different ways. I'd love to learn 
if there's an easier way out there uh help me out so anyway um what we're gonna have here is a uh coming off there we're gonna come across and back up and that's gonna leave us uh about four and a half acres or so um <laughs> four and a half acres there of uh of pasture and then that will be split in two i think i might i might come all the way back i don't know but i was i was thinking these would be split in two and i'd come all the way back to the tree line and then stop at the tree line and then over on this tree line that runs all the way up it actually runs all the way up and it goes into our hay pasture in the front i'm gonna leave about 15 feet off that tree line i'm gonna start cutting it back but leave about 15 feet off of that and that's what we're going to use for a you know i love to put gravel down but uh i'll probably never spend that money but that will be like our road to the back so we don't have to drive through the pasture so if we need to get back to this one we don't have to go through three different gates we can just drive to the back and enter um, or if we want to mow this one if they're on that one uh, then we can just come through um, also if we need to get feed back here or check on them like what for whatever reason water or something we can use just this here as a road thought about using it here at one point but it, it gets kind of low down in here and a little bit muddy um, that side's a little bit higher and then another reason is uh, there is a big creek that runs through here it's probably 20 to 40 feet wide in different places um, it stays wet but it doesn't I've never seen it full but we would love to put like a little I don't know a little cabin up here or something just to kind of I don't know we might Airbnb it um, or maybe just have like a little getaway where you know friends can come out and sit on a back porch overlooking the the river and maybe just be with the Lord and that would be a great spot so that's the plan with this so we're gonna hop back in the Ranger and we're gonna try to go get a couple more flags in down there and that's going to be it for the day yeah <laughs> we also